Hey guys, how's it going? It's Billy again coming at you with a second video. Um, I know, right? Two videos in one day, two days. It's crazy. And I still have another video to film. I don't know if I'm going to get to it today or, or maybe sometime uh, after the 4th. But I uh, just had time and wanted to get these filmed so I can get these uh, records back on the shelf. Um, the way, way I do it, just so you guys know, when things come in, um, everything gets, gets clean, gets entered into uh, Discogs, and then I set it in a, in a stack to show in future videos. Sometimes it takes forever, um, other times it's just a couple of days. Um, but I don't put them on the shelves until they've been shown in videos and cleaned and all that stuff and entered in Discogs especially. Um, a lot of this stuff back here has not been entered in. I'm doing all these slowly but surely, but all my metal and uh, country and eight tracks and uh, all that stuff, cassettes, they've already been entered in, but these, these are gonna take some time. Anyway, uh, Sunday we had a record show here in St. Louis and Brandon and I ended up meeting up and, uh, and going. Uh, funny thing, uh, like Brandon had said, this uh, St. Louis record show it's, uh, it's one of those hit or miss uh, Jekyll and Hyde type shows where you don't, excuse me, you don't know if you're going to go in there and, and walk out spending $5 or $200. You just, you really have no idea. Well, this was, while it wasn't the best show that we've had, it was, uh, it was really, really good. Uh, there was uh, a couple of sellers there that had some really nice stuff. Um, and uh, believe it or not, ended up ended up walking out of there with more stuff than I ever ever thought I, I would have. So let's jump right in here and let's start with the heaviest of heavy hitters. Uh, this is a original Japanese first issue. Um, you know, you can tell by the red uh, the red text here on the Obi uh, Iron Maiden Peace of Mind. Just an outstandingly beautiful copy. Uh, just gorgeous. Everything is uh, is near mint all the way around. Uh, near mint Obi uh, insert poster. It's just gorgeous. I was so glad to be able to uh, to see this. So as soon as I I walked in, uh, th this was my first purchase. I walked the walked the the uh, room and had actually saw this guy's uh, booth and knew that I better walk the rest of the room before I. Had drop my whole load with this guy uh, but this was the first thing I, I purchased he actually had a couple other things uh, that I wanted but uh, the OBs were either had damaged or they didn't have an OB like he had a number of the beast and killers that didn't have OBs so I just I had to pass on those but so glad so glad to uh, be able to add this one uh, to the collection uh, this Sticking with this seller, this particular dealer, he had a, a ton of Japanese stuff. Like I said, he had some stuff that was uh, really, really nice and complete. Uh, some things were really nice and incomplete. Um, so I, I just had to leave them. Uh, this was the other thing that I settled on. Ended up buying two things from, from this gentleman. Actually, I bought three things from him. Uh, but this was uh, the uh, second Japanese pressing that I bought. Uh, Def Leppard High and Dry first pressing beautiful copy glad to have that one and then the last thing I bought from him was Metallica's metal up your ass uh, this is one of the uh, unauthorized uh, red vinyl um, I think there were only 300 of them made uh, music for nations um, you know, they're, I guess they're, they're unauthorized or, or bootlegs. I don't, I don't know, but it's, uh, they, you can't sell them on, uh, on Discogs, but, uh, great, great to have this one. You know, this, uh, the history behind this is this is the, uh, <clears throat> um, what, No Life to Leather, uh, demos. And, and then one other song, Hit, Hit the Lights is from, uh, I can't remember what what that's from, but uh, another another comp that they they had done back in the day. But uh, this is pretty much the uh, no life to leather um, demos. So glad to uh, finally be able to add that one uh, to the collection. Haven't spun it yet. Don't ex I'm not expecting uh, 
uh, too much out of it. My hopes are definitely not, not the highest on that as far as sound quality, but it's still a cool piece to have in the collection. Uh, some country. Found, found uh, one dealer that had some, some country, and not just some country, the rarest of country. This is 1992 Columbia House, Shenandoah Greatest Hits. These things are impossible to find. Uh, like I said, 1992 vinyl, you guys know how hard that stuff is to find. This thing was, uh, well, he, he said it was sealed and in shrink, which it was, but the shrink was kind of banged up. So I, I told him, I'm like, look, I'm, I'm opening this thing up. I'm going to play it. The shrink's beat to hell anyway, but the record's great. The cover's great. Um, I mean, we're, we're talking near mint all the way around. And if I'd have left the shrink on there, it just detracted from the look of it. I'm sure you guys have been there. So uh, five bucks for this unbelievable score. It's, one of my one of the biggest scores of the uh, of the show, you know, when when it comes right down to it, uh, he had a couple nice things. These are going to uh, uh, pretty much round out my Waylon Jennings uh, box set that I'm working on, and this is uh, the Taker in Tulsa from '71. Yeah, 1971. Love this uh, this era Waylon stuff. Uh, this is from um, 72, Good Hearted Woman. These things are all gorgeous. I'm talking near mint all the way around. Look at how white that cover is there. These, uh, these were very well taken care of. Uh, great, great first pressing on both those there. And then uh, from 70, this is from 1970, uh, the best of Waylon Jennings. Like I said, glad to add these. These were all four bucks a piece, and they were just immaculately, immaculately well taken care of. Glad to uh, to have those. I think that was all the country that I ended up getting. Nobody there, there was a, uh, pretty much a, a lack of country uh, at this show. Um, one dealer had uh, had picked up some metal records, some '80s hair metal, and uh, so I picked this up. Uh, Rat Invasion of Your Privacy. These are things that uh, I had had. Thought I'd had, but going through the collection, I'd either traded away or they just weren't up to the standards that I that I had. So I ended up uh, uh, either giving them away or selling them, and then needed some upgrades. So this was a real nice VG Plus all the way around copy of uh, Rats Invasion of Your Privacy. While I was at it, I also picked up a nice VG Plus all around. Uh, actually, the vinyls near mint of Dancing Undercover. Uh, so VG Plus cover, near mint vinyl of rats dancing undercover. Glad to to have that. Now I think the only thing I uh, I am in need of is uh, detonator, which that thing is freaking impossible to find. But if any of you guys, any any of my viewers have a copy of uh, uh, rats detonator that you want to uh, get rid of, I'm not looking for a handout. I'll be willing to uh, make you a deal, make you you know. Do some sort of trade, buy it. If the price is right, let me know. Hit me up. Uh, unfortunately, YouTube doesn't let you uh, send private messages anymore, so leave a comment and I'll get back with you. Or you can feel free to holler at me on uh, Facebook or uh, Instagram, Billy Hearst Photo. Um, check me out there. So uh, the same dealer also had this beautiful copy of Stevie Ray Vaughan and Double Trouble in step. This is a hard one to find, really hard. And this is actually a uh, uh, upgrade copy for me as well. So I did have this in the collection uh, that was probably a VG plus, I would say. And while we're talking upgrades, it's not the, you know, going from a VG plus, you got to go to near mint. So this, that's what this is. I mean, this, the, the corners are just sharp as a tack on this thing. It is gorgeous. The vinyl's great. And uh, I picked this up. I, actually, I got all three of these. So that the two rats and this Stevie Ray Vaughan for 30 bucks. I was, uh, this thing's worth worth that by itself. So I was glad to, uh, to uh, grab those. The dealer was really fair to work with, extremely fair, uh, and had some really nice stuff. Uh, then I worked my way around the corner. Um, a guy had a box, probably 100, uh, original sealed uh, 70s and 80s uh, LPs, and I ended up picking up this one. I actually got two. Uh, the Cars, Heartbeat City, uh, with a really killer hype sticker here. This was, 
I think he had six on it. Six or eight, I can't remember. One of these was six and one of these was eight. But I ended up getting them both uh, both for 10. So I paid $5 each for these. So there's the Cars, Heartbeat City, and then uh, Lonesome Jubilee by John Cougar Mellencamp. What a phenomenal, great record this is here. Uh, so both those sealed copies. Um, I believe they're both record club copies as well. Yeah, this uh, RCA. Uh, is that RCA or BMG? BMG, yep. So there you go. Uh, five bucks each on those. Wasn't going to let those sit there. Um, then I uh, was kind of just looking around while Brandon was uh, picking up a couple things, and I ended up uh, finding a guy who had some really nice original Rush pressings and uh, got this original Gatefold Caress of Steel just as an upgrade. Mine is, is banged all to hell, uh, but this one is nice. So glad to uh, be able to add this to the collection. This one was uh, $12, so there you have that. And then my last purchase of the day, um, I went back and forth on this and kept going back and forth on this, but I, I, at the end of the day, I'm glad I, I picked it up. Um, so this is Richie Valen's uh, debut. Richie on the Delphi uh, from 1959 on the Delphi label. Um, so the story behind this one, uh, the dealer had uh, probably 10 or 12 things in, a, in one of those vault boxes uh, on his table um, and a, a little sign on there that said, you know, highly collectible records, you know, $50 and up or whatever. But there was some really nice stuff, some uh, I think there was uh, a couple Bo Diddley things in there, Chuck Berry, uh, maybe even a Screaming Jay Hawkins, um, and, and this. And this is the one that really caught my eye. Um, he had 75 marked on it, and this thing is gorgeous, by the way. The, the vinyl is, is VG Plus all the way around, high-end VG Plus. And you see how nice the cover is. I mean, this is this is nice. No splits, no no nothing. Uh, just just the tiniest bit of of uh, of rub on there, but uh, a great great piece to have. I walked around and thought about it. Even talked with Brandon, and and uh, after looking to see what they sell for online, you know, seventy five. What he was asking for it was fair. Um, but you know, I'm, I was looking for a deal. It was the end of the day. I'd already spent a little bit of money. And so I uh, went back back around, uh, told Brandon, I'm like, you know, you think he'd take 50 for it? Brandon's like, hey, you only live once, so uh, let's see if he'll take 50 for it. So I asked him, I said, hey, what's, what's the fairest, fairest you can do on that for me? And he's like, I don't know, what are you thinking? I'm like, oh, come on, man, hit me with your best shot. And he said, uh, the best price I can do right now, 50 bucks. So that's exactly what I was thinking. We made it, made a deal, so. So glad to have been able to walk out of there with uh, with this beautiful copy of uh, Richie Valens' um, self-titled debut on the Delphi label. Uh, so now I'll be looking for a nice uh, copy of his second uh, his second album. If any of you guys have that as well, uh, looking for a nice VG Plus copy. I know those uh, aren't cheap, um, but if you got one, hit me up. Uh, so that's pretty much my my finds, guys, for uh, the last week or so. Uh, that's my uh, St. Louis record show. Uh, it was a great show. Always a, always a good time. Uh, but it's always good hanging out with Brandon. He and I went out and uh, got some lunch afterwards and just uh, shot the breeze a little bit. It's always nice uh, hanging out with Brandon. So, guys, I do appreciate you checking in, hanging in with me. Uh, always appreciate the views. Always appreciate the likes, the comments. Uh, you guys are great. So I hope everybody has a great 4th of July weekend. Well, not weekend, but 4th of July week and even maybe the weekend, you know, however long you decide to party and celebrate. Uh, but guys, I hope you're all well. Thanks for tuning in. Take care. Peace.